Lawmakers back on Capitol Hill. Republicans ready to usher in a new era. 12 News journalist Mark Curtis is in the newsroom with the latest on the transition to a second Trump term. Mark? Well, Tram, the president-elect will be very familiar this time and close to his picks as he continues to tap his most ardent supporters to make up his new administration. Congress back in session in Washington today, with the Senate shifting to Republican control. The House will be in order. And the House appearing poised to do the same, clearing the way for the emerging Trump agenda as his administration takes shape. Florida Senator Marco Rubio is expected to be nominated as Secretary of State. We are patriots who love America. Congressman and former Green Beret Mike Waltz officially appointed National Security Advisor. Both men, fierce critics of China, and strong supporters of Israel who voted against the last round of Ukraine funding and have substantial political track records. They were figures in Washington, if you will, apart from or before Donald Trump. Second of all, they're not isolationists by any means. They'll fill key roles at a pivotal time on the world stage, alongside Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who the president-elect picked for U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, while choosing former Congressman Lee Zeldin to head the Environmental Protection Agency. The first 100 days, we, we have the opportunity to, to roll back regulations. And as the senators who will approve the growing list of nominations greet their newest members in a body shifted to the right, Democrats who did win their seats are hoping to diagnose where their party went wrong. I think that they were you know, deeper uh, just distrust and a lot of problems that people are facing right now that just don't feel like government right now is at all tackling that in any meaningful way. A look back as both parties plan a path forward. So, guys, the president-elect keeping his friends and confidants at close arm's length. Yeah, in these first 100 days, Mark, I mean, if you've got a Republican Congress, basically, Republican president, they've all made a lot of promises. We'll see what they get done in these first 100 days, right? And everything I hear, Troy, you're right, and I think that they will try to do so much in that first 100-day period to show that he's all about keeping his promises. All right, we'll be watching. Thank you, Mark.